Hi everyone, welcome to We Draw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about giant African snail. So now let's get straight to it. Giant African snail, scientifically known as Asiatina fulica, is one of the largest land snails belong in the Asiatinidae family and the genus Asiatina. The species name Fulica is derived from the Greek word for agate, which may describe the attractive pattern on the snail's shell. As its name suggests, it is native to East Africa, but has been introduced in many other places including Asia, the Caribbean, and North and South America. Giant African snail is almost 3 inches high, can grow to nearly 8 inches long, and weigh about 32 grams. The largest of these snails was 14.7 inches long. It has a large, conical shell that is made of 7 to 9 spirals. When a snail grows, it grows a new spiral every year, which is called a whorl. Most shells are shades of brown with dark colored stripes, or reddish to yellowish colored with vertical markings. The color may vary depends on the snail's diet and environment. Did you know that giant African snail never stops growing? Though its growth rate slows down as it ages, it will keep growing until it dies. It has two pairs of tentacles on its head. Eyes are located on the top of the upper pair, while the lower pair bears a sense of smell. A rough structure in the mouth similar to a tongue is well developed. It is called radula and covered with tiny spikes. They scrape and grind off pieces of food, which the snail can then eat. Giant African snail has large, muscular foot. As they move, the gland produces slimy mucus to reduce friction and facilitate movement over any rough surfaces. They have an average lifespan of about 5 to 7 years, though some snails have been known to live as long as 10 years when having enough food and right living environment. In its original habitat in Africa, giant African snail lives in a tropical climate with warm temperatures and high humidity year-round. Since it has been brought to so many other areas in the world, they are adaptable to live in cooler climates. They are considered to be active between 9 degrees Celsius and 29 degrees Celsius. Above 2 degrees Celsius, they hibernate inside their shell. The metabolism is drastically reduced and they can survive several months without food. In the summer months, they estivate inside to avoid hot conditions. They seal their body with a thin layer of mucus to retain water. This can take as long as three years during severe drought. Giant African snails are nocturnal, meaning they are only active during the night. They often bury themselves in soil, which helps them to stay cool and to hide from any predators. Their predators include caterpillars, ground beetles, hermit crabs, other snails such as the cannibal snail, and many types of vertebrates. Did you know that giant African snail is a solitary creature? It only interacts with other snails when they are sexually mature at 6 months old. They are hermaphroditic, meaning they have both male and female organs. Yet, they still need to mate with other snail as their own sperms cannot fertilize their own eggs. The number of eggs a snail lays is between 100 to 500 eggs. On average, they lay 5 to 6 clutches of eggs per year, with a hatching rate of 90%. Also. Giant African snail eat at least 500 types of plants including many agricultural crops. They are considered as one of the most invasive species in the world. Despite their pest status and a vector to several human pathogens and parasites, they help the ecosystem by decomposing dead plants and recycling nutrients into the environment. They are often used as fishing baits and for the manufacture of chicken feed, fertilizer, and different types of biological compounds too. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.